ట్వెల్త్ బయోబాటనీ చాప్టర్ ఫైవ్ ప్లాన్ టిష్యూ కల్చర్ ఇన్ దిస్ పార్ట్ వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు లర్న్ అబౌట్ ద కన్జర్వేషన్ ఆఫ్ ప్లాంట్ జెనెటిక్ రిసోర్సెస్ వాట్ ఆర్ ప్లాంట్ జెనెటిక్ రిసోర్సెస్ ప్లాంట్ జెనెటిక్ రిసోర్సెస్ ఆర్ డిఫైన్డ్ యాజ్ ద ఎంటైర్ రీప్రొడక్టివ్ మెటీరియల్ ఆఫ్ స్పీషీస్ విత్ ఎకనామికల్ ఆర్ సోషల్ వాల్యూ ఎస్పెషలీ ఫార్ ద అగ్రికల్చర్ ఆఫ్ ద ప్రజెంట్ అండ్ ఫ్యూచర్ ద రీప్రొడక్టివ్ మెటీరియల్ ఆఫ్ ఎస్పీసీస్ టెర్ హ్యాస్ సమ్ వాల్యూ అండ్ యూస్డ్ ఫార్ ద అగ్రికల్చర్ ఆఫ్ ప్రజెంట్ అండ్ ఫ్యూచర్ ఈస్ జెనెటిక్ రిసోర్స్ ద ఫస్ట్ యూస్ ఆఫ్ జెనెటిక్ రిసోర్స్ డేట్స్ టు మోర్ దెన్ టెన్ థౌసండ్ ఇయర్స్ అగో టెన్ థౌసండ్ ఇయర్స్ అగో హ్యూమన్ స్టార్టెడ్ యూజింగ్ ద జెనెటిక్ రిసోర్సెస్ టెన్ థౌసండ్ ఇయర్స్ అగో హ్యూమన్ ఇన్వెంటెడ్ అగ్రికల్చర్ ద ఫార్మర్స్ సెలెక్టెడ్ ద జెనెటిక్ వేరియేషన్ దే ఫౌండ్ ఇన్ వైల్డ్ ప్లాంట్స్ దే సెలెక్టెడ్ ఎ బెటర్ ప్లాంట్ ఫ్రమ్ ద గ్రూప్ ఆఫ్ వైల్డ్ ప్లాంట్స్ when human population move to different climates to an ecosystem they take the crops with them when they move from one place to another place they took the selected crops with them they started conserving the plants for their future the conservation of plant genetic resources is very important in the recent times because in the recent times more plants have become threatened and more plants have become rare so in the recent time conservation of plant genetic resource is very important germplasm conservation is a part of conservation of plant genetic resource what is germplasm pollen seeds tissues they can be used for plant breeding and research work or germplasm the germplasm carries information from one generation to another generation the germplasm materials like pollen seeds tissues of plants are preserved in living condition life condition they are stored in seed banks or pollen banks in life condition in seed banks or pollen banks they are preserved they are the viability of the seeds are maintained and the fertility of the seeds are maintained in the germplasm conservation a seed can survive within the viable duration after the completion of viable duration they do not germinate only the fertile seeds can germinate but this preservation maintains the viability and fertility so the preserved pollen seeds tissues can be used for crop improvement and hybridization also germplasm conservation may involve gene bank and dna bank gene bank and dna bank are maintained for the purpose of maintaining uh, maintaining biological diversity and for food security to ensure food security and maintain biological diversity gene bank and dna bank are used what are gene bank it is nothing but collection of seeds and other plant reproductive material gene bank contains the reproductive material of plants including the seeds more than 1700 individual gene banks are found around the world and dna bank contains the dna fragments isolated from different plant parts cryo preservation is a preservation technique the plant materials are preserved under low temperature that is minus 196 degree celsius cryo preservation is a process that preserves organelles cells tissues protoplast enzymes or any other biological materials by cooling the samples to very low temperatures protoplast enzymes organelles etc are preserved under low temperature 
what is cryopreservation in plant genetic resources cryopreservation involves storage of plant material such as seed shoot shoot tip zygote somatic embryos pollen seed the meristem zygote somatic embryos pollen are stored in liquid nitrogen under low temperature so low temperature leads to preservation of materials in dormant status what is dormant status inactive state the low temperature makes the seed inactive the protoplast inactive there is no metabolic activity will occur in the low temperature at this extreme low temperature any enzymatic or chemical activity of the biological material will be totally stopped when we keep the fruits in refrigerator the ripening is stopped because the low temperature reduces the enzymatic activity the how to activate the dormant material under low temperature seeds pollen etc are in dormant state if we want to use we have to activate the material from the dormant state later these materials can be activated by bringing to room temperature bringing the material to room temperature slowly activates we may have the doubt whether the low temperature will damage the plant material in order to prevent the damage caused by the freezing temperature cryoprotectants are used dimethyl sulfoxide glycerol or sucrose are the cryoprotectants these cryoprotectants protect the plant material from the stress of freezing low temperature so in this part we have learned the conservation of plant genetic resources in the next part we are going to learn about ipr intellectual property right and patent